I've been meaning to do this for a while. Hello, is there someone there? Pretty lonely here. So what have y'all been doing uh, while we're waiting for a microscopic predator to ruin our shops and lives? <laughs> here in the shop, not much business, so we're building some projects, I guess, that we've been putting off for quite some time. Uh, let me take you around and have a look. So we ordered in steel, I think it was three years ago. Uh, with the intentions of building a uh, better shop press than our uh, our Princess Auto model over there. Uh, so we finally got to build what we can with what material we have anyway. Uh, we are 18 by 36 on the table. Uh, the height is going to be 7 or 8 feet high I guess when it's done. So our material is 3 by 3 8 uh, angle. Uh, the uh, plate is uh, half inch. Uh, we're going to acquire some uh, channel iron now to build the upper frame uh, support under the table and uh, new pin material. What else do you say about it? That's pretty much all we've got done right now. Uh, but like I said, it gives us something to do while we're waiting for uh, business to get back to normal anyway. And the second project we started. Uh, is a workbench to go in between the two lathes and uh, essentially it'll be bounded by machines where we can have access to it from any side. Uh, what we've drawn up is something roughly five foot long, uh, 30 to 32 inches wide and uh, we're going to uh, put it on wheels. We dug through our caster collection and found some suitable wheels. Uh, it should have a couple of drawers by the time we're finished with it. Uh, we've already had some drawer slides over there for this project forever. So now is probably a good time to get started at it. Uh, one thing I was really wanting to try was uh, using a bead roller to make the end panels very similar to what Dale Derry did in his project. Uh, a few years back. Uh, I was really interested in that one and really wanted to give it a try. So we've sourced a bead roller from a buddy of mine and uh, we'll get some uh, sheet metal and uh, give this a shot later. I have some ideas what I want to do in there and uh, hopefully I can get it to work out. This is where we're at with the bench overall. This is the upper section. I'm just putting on the uprights now to attach the lower section that's completed to the left. And uh, when we get it into a, uh, into a box shape, then we'll look at uh, installing the wheels. So for right now, this is all we have to record. Uh, I'll do more segments on this, I guess, as it progresses. And, uh, and uh, hopefully we'll get uh, a project hammered out from this set at the end of it by the time it's all over. Everybody stay safe out there. Uh, you know, do what you gotta do to get through this whole ordeal and uh, hopefully uh, when it's all over, things get back to a little bit more normalcy around here. Thanks, see ya.